Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 where we post weekly content you guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy we've got a patreon funny and jesse feel free to become members and we'll appreciate we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss you can find us on itunes spotify pod in this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual and yeah just enjoy the content that we're putting out there a big shout out a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel and a big shout out to the person that suggested this i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting towards muhammad peace be upon him a jew slaughterer due to the killing of six to seven hundred jews question and answer khalid yassin so without wasting time let's get into video was Muhammad sallallahu a Jew slaughterer since he approved of the slaughtering of six to seven hundred Jews after the Banu Quraysh invasion well again let's go back to this issue of Banu Quraysh and see what kind of people they were see how they was dealing with the Prophet Sallallahu before he fought them See how he was deep that was dealing with him while he fought them. See what they were doing. See what they were doing behind his back. See what plotting they were doing. You see, they was cutting between. They was giving out messages. They was working with the enemy while smiling in his face. They had a treaty with him, but they were violating the treaty. And the Prophet saw Sam was warned by Allah of what they were doing. Even their plan was to kill the Prophet Sam. Their plan was to kill the Muslims. Their plan was always to undermine Islam. We don't say the Jews. And this is what I want Muslims to understand. We do not curse the Jews. And we do not have hatred for Jews. No, Jews are part of the people Allah calls Ahl al-Kitab. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the, among the Ahl al-Kitab, the people that are nearest to us in love is the people who call themselves Nasara. And the ones who is the most hatred, hatred towards us is the people who say that we are Yahuds. But not all the Yahuds is like that. And what we should do is we should not cover them with one blanket. When you meet a Yahudi, don't say, oh, they're the enemies of Allah. No, no, brothers, this is wrong. Because there are many Yahudis who will become Muslims if the behavior of Muslims are correct. But the people who call themselves Zionists, Zionists, these is the pigs of the earth. These are the enemies of Allah. They are the enemies of Jibreel Islam. They are the enemies of the deen and the enemies of the believers. And they were the enemies of the prophets and the murderers and plotters against the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah, he will deal with them as he dealt with them before, whether through our hands or through the hands of some other servants of his. But Jews and Zionists are different. Not all Jews are Zionists. And not all Zionists are Jews. So Muslims need to get it. Just like all Muslims are not Arabs and all Arabs are not Muslims. And all Muslims do not support terrorism. In fact, so don't do what they do and put us under one blanket and don't put them under one blanket. Let's just be fair. So Banu Quraiza, okay, was assaulted by the Prophet Sallallahu It was seized by the Prophet Sallallahu and they were taken hostage by the Prophet Sallallahu And because they were rebellious, the Prophet Sallallahu punished them in the way Allah ordered them to be punished. And sometimes the punishing is by death. Because even today, they still have in America death penalty, right? Death penalty? So in the last 30 years, how many people in America died by death penalty? Thousands, is that right? 
So don't be blaming the prophet Saul Sam. Y'all killed criminals and gave them the death penalty? The prophet Saul Sam, he killed some of the Banu Quraysh and gave them death penalty. So don't be hating on him when y'all did the same thing. interesting video um what exactly was going on between muhammad and these people what agreements did they have for them to be going behind his back and doing the opposite he's used examples of these killings and related them to what currently happens in certain countries but then i really want to understand the full story of this i really just want to know what caused their deaths otherwise um to compare the two things i think we're kind of living in different times back then they got killed for one thing but now it's like every killing or some killings it's like the killings that happened in the past that are related with religious stuff or had um reasons as to why they were carried out Despite that, what do you guys think about what happened with these 700 Jews? What do you think about um, the death penalty that he's mentioned now? What are, what are your opinions on that? I'd just love to hear what you guys think about that. Let's get the conversation started in the comment section below. I'll be more than glad to write back to you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.